here we go. <clears throat> Another unboxing. Today, I have Artie 3000. This is a programming art bot, basically. Very cute from Educational Insights. This is a 7 plus. Um, I'd go lower than that, though. I think kids uh, as low as kindergarten could get something out of this grade one. Um, everything's in contained within here. Um, and it's your basic intro to block programming. Okay, basic intro to block programming. Everything's within the box. There's no special platform other than what's inside uh, Artie's brain. So it's a Wi-Fi enabled drawing robot. We're going to unbox it and have a look inside to see what kind of cool thing. Artie is the drawing robot that helps you learn how to code. Gives you a little diagram here. So there's the little program. We'll see that. It's pretty easy. You add that with the Artie and wow, you get some beautiful creations. Um, so let's go ahead and have a look inside. Alright, so welcome to the Artie party. Nice, getting started on how to videos. Alright, so codingwithartie.com is a place where we can get our instructions. There it is. Pull that out. Come on out. What do we got in here? So here's some. There's our bot. Here's our instructions. Some, oh, cool game cards in here. Okay, that come with it, and we have our three pens that come with it as well, and that, we'll figure out what that is in a second, I'm pretty sure it's a holder for the pen, and there we go. Alright, so this is what's included. You can see that Artie is a pretty big robot, right? It's pretty, let me see, in Le Bon Québécois, it's custo, right? It has some rollers underneath. Again, it's the rubber wheels. Um, and they seem pretty solid, nice and smooth. It will probably be. <coughs> and then inside, you pop open the head. And this is where our kind of main engine is for turning it on. And then the pen's going to slide down through there. And will come out the bottom so that it will leave a trace behind. Okay, so... That is our robot itself. Let me put it dying down so you can see it nice and clearly. We got three colors: a pink, a green, and a blue. Just should it make some pretty cool stuff. It comes with a problem solving, right? So if you're having some troubles with it, here's the various things that you can check. We'll have a look at those in a second. And then I have just an overview. So. The cool thing about Artie is it has this built-in Wi-Fi built wi server. So basically it's going to connect Wi-Fi to Artie. And you're going to open it. It's going to give you a block, block programming um, interface. So it's built in within. It's pretty cool. And it can remote control. you got 360-degree movement. And it lowers and lifts pens too. So pen up, pen down work really well with it. And, well, that's this, all right? And then the instructions are here as well. Uh, frequently asked questions. All right, so all of that we're going to put into this sleeve. And we'll keep that for safekeeping. But I have a pretty good feeling we're going to be able to figure this out on our own. All right, so the start here we'll just put away. Now, one thing I wanted to look at really quickly with you is just starting up. So again, you have to put batteries in. This one takes four AA batteries, not included. Then the then the, the it flips open, and then the button turns on. Here it shows you how to connect. Okay, so there's the interface, which we'll look at in a minute. Aha, that's what this little thing is for. So this plastic thing is where we can cover our pen up on the bottom of Artie. All right, so it covers it up. And then where to put the pens in, okay, it's pretty pictorial all the way through. You could probably just give this to your students and they could figure it out, figure it out. So is, 
Now, some of the things I haven't really looked at yet are these cards, which kind of look cool. So let's have a quick look at these cards and what they can do. So here's the first one. It's just drawing a simple shape. All right, so getting Artie to draw this shape. Um, all right, we'll do that. And then here's some extensions to it as well, where you could draw some different kinds of shapes. And here it gives you your first kind of sample, right? So again, looking at these instructions, I'm dealing with two things. I'm dealing with movement and degree. So length, how far I want it to go, and also what degree I want it to turn on on the 360 to create different kinds. Pen up, pen down, and that's it. That's your code. Um, there's probably maybe eight blocks that you have in here. And these are good first little ones. Oh, you can make a mandala if you want. Ooh, and then do a hangman. Okay, so these just come with them. These are just to kind of inspire you a little bit to get you started. Again, I'll put that away with the materials. And remember your problems are problems are solving guides. Let's go ahead and and get this hooked up to the computer. Alright. Here we're back with RD three thousand. Mm -hmm. Um I've put batteries in. Okay. I put four double A batteries it needs to operate. Um, so I put those batteries in and now I'm going to, okay, open its head, right, where its brain is, and inside you're going to see, uh, a little switch, okay, so I got to turn that switch on and you'll see a red light turns on, when you have it in there, so it's ready to go now, so now I have to just connect this to the Wi-Fi and then I can start programming it, all right, very simple to start, close the head, it's on, so if I go over now to my um, Wi-Fi connection, there it shows up, right? So the signal is being shot out. I'll connect to Artie via my Wi-Fi, right? Now, I need a program, right? I told you it's inside its brain. You're like, Chris, how is that possible? Well, it has a local um, platform within it that will send it to your computer via your Wi-Fi. Wow, technology nowadays. So... Here's my browser. I'm just opening up Safari. And then on your page, you'll get the website that you need to put in. All right, so you do. And it's a local one, right? Because it's on the robot itself. So I'm going to do local. And then it's called codewithardy.com. All right. I hit enter. And here I am on my uh, program, uh, my interface. You can see super easy. So it has one, two, three, four, five blocks. Five blocks, that's all it has. So moving, turning, pen up, pen down, and then a loop. Okay, so with that, it's really easy to get started with kids um, to get them coding a little bit. Now, you can see as soon as I opened it, um, I have code already here. So it wants to move back by 40 millimeters, then turn right for 12 degrees, then move forward for 25 degrees, and then turn left. So these are basically just block program. Right, you can see how I move them in. I want to bring another one in. I just drag and drop it. So again, very easy drag and drop. Um, at the bottom of my play, I have my stop, and then this is to clear my code. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch now over. Um, let's see this thing draw something. All right, so let's go through the process. Um, I showed you how to hook it up. We unbox the thing, looked at what's inside. Now we're gonna actually try to get this thing going, all right? So what I've done is over where my um, Wi-Fi is, you can see it pops up, right? So I just connect it. And then like I showed you, you put in that um, URL, which is local.codewithardy.com, all right? And it brings you to this platform. There was a program in here, but I erased it. Let's just create a new one, all right? And by erasing it, I just hit the X and it clears everything out, right? So let's make a simple square, all right? A simple, simple square. Now, first up, I want to put pen down, okay? That's the first thing that we want to do. We want the pen to actually go down. And then let's get it um, turning and moving, all right? So what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to use a repeat, all right, which is a loop. Very important to know in programming that instead of putting multiple pieces of code, I can 
do a kind of a shortcut and say, well, just repeat this four times, right? Because I want it to travel the same distance and I want it to turn the same angle, right? So it's going to travel the same distance and turn at the same angle, creating a square, all right? In all four corners, we want equal, all right? All four sides. So I'm going to bring the repeat in. And then let's put our blocks in there. Now, a square is made up of four sides, so I'm going to put four in there. And now let's just put the rest of the information, right? So I want it to turn. You're going to go in there. There we go. So we'll do, let's do a right turn by 90 degrees four times, right? So it's only turned now. It hasn't moved yet. So now I have to go get the move block and also put that inside. And I want it to move forward. Sure, and inches is complicated for us, so let's go to like 120 milliliters, uh, milliliter, uh, millimeters, sorry, millimeters, come on, guys, and let's do 120, all right, because they're pretty small. So, there's my program, all right, now, I have the robot turned on, it's hooked up, because I have this on my computer, would not be there if I didn't have this turned on. And what I'm going to do is I put the little cap on the bottom. Remember this little cap that we had? I'm going to put it on the bottom just so that as soon as I put RD down, it doesn't bleed all of that ink down. I'll try blue, do a blue square. So I'm going to take my pen, just put the cap on the back. And I want to take the pen now and just slide it into well, actually sliding it all the way through to the bottom. Oops, I didn't want that to pop out, but that's okay because we're going to get it to draw. All right, so you can see it's just barely the tip is just barely out. If I move it, you can see it there. Okay, so I'm going to put that there like that. I'm going to put it down on the surface. Let me bend this down a bit so you can see. Let's have it facing you guys so that you can see his beautiful eyes. And then I'm just going to go ahead and hit play, and let's see what it does. Oh, okay. So again, programs go all about troubleshooting, right? You can see it's not leaving any trace because the pen's not touching, right? So again, let's just have it finish. I know that it's going to do a square, right? It seemed to do it not bad. Again, I'm on a piece of cardboard, so it's a little bouncy. So let's just push that down a little bit more. All right, ready to go. All right, and I'm going to hit the play again. All right, already do your stuff. There we go. I can hear it now. And there we have the line. You can kind of see what happens here. It bleeds out if you don't have that cap on. And because I'm doing always the same size and the same angle, it will help. Okay. Nice, easy square right, from Artie. Now, again, I can manipulate this and do all kinds of different things with it if I wanted to, right? But I just want to make a simple square. It's a great exercise to start with. And you're basically doing angles, turns, angles, and motion, right? So those are your two variables that you're going to be playing with. And obviously, you can use that loop. That loop is really cool because then I don't have to put, you know, turn right 90 degrees, move 120 mil, uh, millimeters four times I put it one time and just say do it four times right so it's kind of a little trick there so there you are this is great for again beginning coders um, if you like to do some art too some cool stuff uh, very very doable RD is readily available um, and it's a cool little robot I'm sure your students will really start to like uh, like it a lot thank you